Hi, I'm Marlene Eichner. I'm a fabric artist and I enjoy doing uh, wall hangings and purses, pillows, anything you can imagine that can be made out of fabric. I like to experiment. Uh, I, my background is as a bureaucrat. I was the assistant deputy director for disability insurance, part of employment development department in, in California. And but, but that entire time that I was working as a as a administrator, I was yearning to to do my my art. My mother taught me as a child to sew, and of course, in those days, there were home ec home economics classes, and I took sewing in school. So I've always loved to sew. Um, when I was I graduated from college in 1971, and I wanted to go into teaching, but. Uh, Teaching opportunities were scarce in California in those days, so my husband at the time and I, we made jewelry. We were, this was in 1971, we had started prior to that in the 60s, so this, we were still part of the hippie era. We'd go up and down the West Coast selling at art and craft shows, and we lived a real nomadic lifestyle, but it was fun. And the only thing that brought it to a close was my having a child, and having to settle down. <laughs> but I've, uh, I went to work for the state of California shortly after that, had a long and varied career, and as soon as I retired, I started up my sewing again, only this time not clothes, but, but artwork. Ready-made fabric, fabric that I dye myself, or fabric from watercolor that my daughter has painted, I can get it onto, onto fabric, and I, I coordinate all these, these pieces into a finished product. And um, I also will incorporate some of my daughter's work. And a friend of mine, her name is Joan Ween, she's a beautiful watercolorist. I can incorporate their work into my, into my work to make a collage kind of presentation. Of course, I give them all uh, credit when it's due. But I have, um, I have made when I see something that inspires me, for instance, uh, parachutes or canopies, something about the color, something about the movement will give me inspiration to try to recreate it in fabric. So I'll do a wall hanging or a pillow with something that I've interpreted based on what I've seen uh, in nature or, or just walking around, being part of the world. Um, I use applique and freestyle stitching. I'll use program embroidery patterns, but I also do my own freestyle uh, sewing machine uh, embroidery. So uh, I have, I, the sewing machine is actually an extension of my body. And uh, as I get older, I'm getting more arthritic in my hands. So handwork is an impossibility for me anymore. So, but definitely quilting uh, techniques piecing and, and uh, mosaic style, um, putting squares and, and strips together to form an image, and then stitch by stitch to make sure that it's, it's the movement and the colors are captured perfectly. I adored George O'Keefe uh, in my youth and just the boldness of the images and the message the colors um, on a grand scale, uh, very inspiring to me. Also mosaics, I love the look of glass mosaic, the way the colors surprise you. You know, you have a pile of gla blue glass over here and a pile of orange glass over here. And somehow, when they're brought together, they appear completely differently, the way the light refracts. And I try to do the same thing with, with fabric. I think, uh, no, it'll never be a lost art. Uh, I think interest in it comes and goes. For instance, macrame. Macrame was a, I'm sure it's been something done for eons and among human populations, but it really took off in the 60s and 70s. Macrame, you saw it everywhere in the art and craft shows. And I think it declined, but it's now, there's a resurgence going on. People are interested again. It's a beautiful art. It's a beautiful technique. Tatting also with creating lace. Um, the way, you know, you look at lace, you, you think that it just arrives out of nothing. 
magically. But the technique and skill involved in making lace is ex exquisite. And I think those kinds of skills, the interest in the young people is coming back. Being able to have that confidence in your own skills is was priceless and I think that's what's carried me through. I had a career because I thought that was ex what was expected of me. That was built into my DNA from my family. You have a career and then you prove yourself and then you live the life you want to live. But I did, I did do art throughout my entire career and my, my advice is if you feel that passion, if you feel you want to express the world that you see, in your own unique way, you do it. And, um, and I think part of, part of being a, a good artist and a successful artist is being prolific. You do it you, because you love to do it. You experiment, no matter, regardless of what anybody's reaction is to your work, you keep going. You feel that passion, you let it flow through you and be prolific. And all of a sudden you realize that you have, you have something to say and people are listening.